seems to me to make a thoughts. All right. Welcome, everyone. As you can see, Albert is not here today. Uh, Councillor Haas is joining us. Does everybody know each other in here? Yes? Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. um, so first item on the agenda today is additions to the yes, yeah. I'm just making sure is Stuart still the backup? Yeah. yeah. Stuart wasn't so Stuart was contacted, he wasn't available. So Marcel or near Michaels then is the usual backup, but he's not available. So as I'm deputy mayor right now, so it falls on me. Okay. So I was available. So yeah, but Stuart is typically the alternate. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Right. Um any additions to today's agenda? None. All right. Um, can we get a motion for adoption of the minutes from May 11th? They were included in your package. Um, I move to accept the minutes. I'll accept the minutes from May 11th. Um, all in favor? Um, on to item three. Doug, do just chime in if you uh, have anything to have throughout, because I'll be facing this way today. It's a little hard to see if the chat's heading away. It is big. Uh, <laughs> so Trevor's not able to make it today, so we do need someone to volunteer to take the minutes. Um, can someone volunteer to take the minutes? I'm remote here. I can just type while I'm listening. Awesome. Thank you, Doug. Oh, wow. Thanks. Perfect. Okay. Uh, moving on to 3.2. That was a task that you guys had given me with respect to the ramp specifications um, and whether they could be updated to reflect the similar specifications that were done by fine line um, for those couple of sections that um, Chad's crew oversaw getting fixed. Um, we went to our engineers at Associated and it's gonna cost approximately $12,000 to essentially have them rewrite the specs and have them redraft a new RFP to fit that, um, 12 grand. And then, on top of that, it will take two to three weeks for them to execute those changes. Um, and then that's going to delay the overall RFP that was scheduled for June 15th. So um, that's kind of where we're at with that. I also asked them like, okay, well, could we do what we did with the, um, with the fine line project where we kind of changed the specs after the fact? And they said, well, um, we, we could, but there's no guarantee that there would be any savings. And then again, you're paying that contractor to make changes now to, to an agreement. Um, however, there is some additional information in the closed session that we have scheduled today that I think is going to alleviate any concerns with the ramp work. So um, any questions on that at this point? And then, of course, if you guys do have questions during the closed session, um, we can address those then as well. So my intent when I brought up that motion last meeting for the specification in general was, was really not so much for the ramp. I mean, if there's already things rolling for there, I mean, sure, it makes sense, right? But I think the ramp specification in general is higher than what you need. So really what I was just trying to encourage was just adopting what fine line had uh, and put it down in writing. So when you next do uh, a ramp extension or a boardwalk replacement, you have that to fall back on and it mm -hmm. should flow very easily for a process there. Yeah, and I think based on like the feedback from the group, that's something that we would want to apply to all of the sections of the boardwalk that we will be working on. And Diana is now aware of, oh, hey, we should have maybe looked at applying this to those ramps. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the, the intent done, I believe. All right, so that's ramps. No question. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Water Act requirements. I reached out to our friends at Associated Environmental. The tower itself will require an entirely new Water Act approval. We did know that when Guy did the walk around with us, so that's not a change there. For the new sections, 
Um, so actually any of the sections that are currently in there that we wanted to, let's say, remove and not replace in the exact same spot because we can do that under our maintenance currently. Um, if we wanted to reroute a section, let's say, or we're like, okay, let's pull out a section and we'll replace it next year. They believe that in most cases that will require only a wave. So that will cut our time down a little bit. And the reason for that is because when we went through the process of getting the maintenance approval, Guy at AEP had actually said, well, really this, this could have been a wave if you classify this as a water course crossing. So I'm a little bit hesitant there because I feel like it kind of depends on who's reviewing our file at AEP as to how they're kind of defining that water course crossing. Um, because we heard opposite of that twice through the, through the process last time. Um, so what our folks at um, Associated Environmental are suggesting is that to come out and kind of go through our map and section by section figure out is this part of a new approval or is this uh, just a wave and kind of tackling it that way. Um, so I did connect with CAO Hanlon and he's given me the green light to reach out to them and have them come out and kind of start that assessment. He has some other items that he needs to chat with them about. So just while they're in town, we're gonna um, have them give us some suggestions that we'll then bring, bring back to the group. Um, the wave, what's its water? Uh, what's um, water impact there? form. Impact form. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Questions on the tower or new sections, water application, water app. Yes. Um, I like the time process if we're, if we're going to do a new approval. Are we still talking four to six months? Uh, so for a brand new water act approval, so for the tower, it can be up to a year. So that's why we wanted to kind of run those processes at the same time. Um, the WAIF is more in the six month neighborhood, depending on how many are in the system at the time that we apply. Supplementary on that. Um, as far as the WAIF goes, are we basically talking things within the footprint of the current boardwalk? Is that how they're defining it or is there any real understanding of that? What do you mean? So where the current boardwalk exists, if you're doing something within that, it's already covered within the maintenance approval? No, so the way that the maintenance approval is done, so what we had last time was we had, um, we had to delineate the actual wetland, submit that to AEP as part of our plan, our maintenance plan. And that maintenance plan, um, because we didn't have really a vision for what this would become and how we would fund it and all of these things, we went with just a maintenance plan, which meant that we could replace only the existing footprint. So anytime that we're deviating from that or cannot pull the piles out and replace them in the same spot, then we must, it doesn't fall under maintenance then anymore. It has to go under a new approval. It's a bit of an incongruity if you're talking about the water course being all or water course crossing being all and all of a sudden. Okay. It seems a little vague, but I understand the regulator also has certain things they have to do too. So. Yeah, like when we put in our maintenance request, we had one person from AAP tell us, no, full water act approval, right? So we did that. And then when we ran into some bumps along the way with that, we contacted AP, we had them come out, meet us on site. And that individual who was different than our original individual was like, oh, well, why don't you guys just do it this way? So one of the big learnings in that was that when we go and attack it this time, we're getting AP to join us up front so that we're with that person. They're there telling us, okay, for this section, do this, for this section, do that. Um, so that's, that's kind of the way we hope to improve that process going forward. That's that subjective. It's a bit of a and and it's interesting. It is, and it's, and it's interesting because when I did my research on boardwalks specifically, <laughs> so there's a list of what kind of has to go in, whether it's a wave or full water act approval. There's this list, and it literally next to boardwalks says contact AP. So they haven't really. There's not a a, a set a, a set criterion in place to say okay, this is in, this is out. Yeah, I think that's because boardwalks are so varied, right? It really depends on exactly. Yeah. Um, any other questions on that one? So sorry, when we were talking about that at the last meeting, there. Um, you were discussing potentially about starting an initial generic approval just to get the wheels rolling there. Is that taking place? Yes, that's right. So that's where the first step of that is having our folks from Associated 
come out. So I met with them um, a couple of weeks ago over the phone and we're just ironing out some scheduling with like their top dog because he's got to come out and meet with our CAO anyways. Um, so yeah, that'll be in the in the coming weeks here. Okay. Um, anything else on Water Act approval? Oh, yeah, I'll I was just a little, okay, so for you were saying for rerouting or for using different holes, mm -hmm. it will possibly depend on who at AEP we get, whether we need to do an approval or a wait. Was that correct? So depending on the section, okay. right? Which is why we want to have AEP and our um our en environmental folks come out. Where they seem to get sort of stuck last time is if you're on the high, like the high water line to high water line. The bridge, that's very clearly a water course crossing. Yeah. But when we have sections that don't connect to land and they kind of meander, that's where they they were like, well, that's not really a crossing. And then somebody else looks at it and they go, well, it kind of is because it's all yeah. connected, right? Um, so yeah, if we're just replacing the exact same footprint, then we can do that under our maintenance approval. If that's what we decide we want to do. It's only if, for example, with section AA, right, that piece that's not connecting to the bridge right now, if we decided we had to rip that out and not replace it right away, or we weren't able to put in the same holes, we may need an entire Water Act approval for that section, because someone might look at that and go, that's not actually connecting high water line to high water line, right? So it just kind of depends. And if we can do a whole section, then we might be able to get around that. Uh, the Alice. So maybe you've already answered this, but can we not sit down with them and come to a common understanding of and, like and that's, what we're going to do, whether it determine if it's going to be a whole new thing or a wave or... Yeah, and that's what we were doing with our... Because when we meet with AP, we also, it's really important that we have our environmentalists there. So that's what we're trying to sort out now, is a moment where someone from AP can come and our environmentalists, and then go take this section by section with our map, so that we know, right, and identify like this section here, that's going to be water act. These five over here, let's okay. say, those are So that wave. takes care of Correct. The end of that's the right. The and finished. then it'll be documented. Okay. Alice, yeah. Um, do, do we know yet whether fine line was having issues with these the same holes? Is that actually an issue or is it kind of a point? The only issue they had was. Um, a couple of the piles that they did remove did break um right. and they you know they could they tried their best and i think they left the couple because uh, they talked to the environmental person that was on site and she said that it was okay because they, they you know they tried and tried but if they kept going at it they were gonna you know make a big mess so rather than do that they just but for the most part no they didn't have any issue okay so just follow up or just talk about it. Okay. Um so does um like is that something we need to add necessarily like would we need to add that to the maintenance plan at some point? Like I don't think it's worth doing a whole way just that, but maybe the next time we'll have to do an update that's something we should consider including. Yeah and that's that's kind of if we can't use the same holes can we use a couple of feet around it? Yeah. And I believe that's what what occurred on site. That's yeah. why we require that environmental person there so that if they run into any issues with the project, they bring that person on. If they have to, they reach out to AEP and go, is it cool if we amend this? Okay. Yeah. And they give us a green light or a hard no. Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. Any other questions? Oh, Tom, right, my bad. Sorry. Um, so, <laughs> the impression I'm getting is um, we have a very fluid approval um, timeline. Mm -hmm. So we're talking, it could be, 20 minutes, it could be six months to a year, depending yeah. on what you're doing. Uh, but that doesn't mean that there's not stuff for us to sort out because one of the big things that AEP needs to see is a plan, right? So that's <laughs> largely why we're focusing on our priorities and getting that done. Sorry. I guess too, if we're talking about this this winter's construction, we're talking about a deadline that would be approaching relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. So defining your work and getting the plan in is pretty important. Indeed. All right. Um, I forgot during the additions to the agenda, 
Um, 3.3.3 is costs associated with um, those approvals. At this time, I don't think we need to discuss that based on what's going to be discussed in closed session. So I would like to remove that, but I think I need everybody to let me do that. Mm -hmm. So Jan's going to make a motion. Make a motion to. Oh, I don't have it in front of me. Sorry. 3.3.3. 3.3.3. 3.3.3. Please. To be discussed later on. Um, I'd like to call that to question. All in favor? Can't read there he is. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Doug. Okay, we have a discussion item today um, related to the boardwalk section from Himba. So currently that is outside our terms of reference. We wanted to have a discussion about including it. Yon, I think you had sent in an email about this a while back, so I'll turn it over to you. Well, it's the, the 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 question is is that it was included in the whatever that sixty thousand dollar maintenance thing this year, which we had to approve, but yet it's outside our curtain in terms of the our terms of reference. So we have to make a decision, I think, whether it's part of our thing or or not. And then if it's not, then I don't think were ever asked again to okay or not okay money spent on it. So does anyone have to I'll show I think Beth was next yeah Beth. um yeah I think um yeah we kind of like that sixty thousand dollars like I assumed and I think everybody mostly interpret that's for the beaver boardwalk but it, it's already been part of it allocated for uh, fixing up the piece from Himba. So I would say for this year, even though it is outside, like I wouldn't include that boardwalk beside Rob Road as part of the um, Beaver Boardwalk because it's a, it is a travel corridor. It's trying to get people safely from one area to the Himba. Um, it's different experience completely. But for this year, I would say don't try to change the budget. We just accept it as a a one-off for now and if it ever comes up again we then bring it up and discuss do we need you know can we do we have the money to for that or not but for this year i would just say it's one-off it's not part of the beaver boardwalk but it's all and rather than trying to redo any budget I would, that's all i would leave it okay. i have trevor and y'all and alice <clears throat> Yeah, and being new to this, but I have watched all the videos on it. But I think looking at the uh, the budget, this would be something that a, a recommendation that this group could make is that identifying it as a budget line that there's the Himba area and then there's the Beaver Boardwalk area, you know, and whether it's twenty thousand dollars to and I'm just throwing numbers out, but twenty grand to that area and forty grand or whatever, but to figure to identify if if it's not going to be part of your area. Then we should be identifying X amount of dollars for the even boardwalk, X amount of dollars for the Himba. Then it then it solves that unless you guys decide to to recommend that Himba be part of those recommendations and then part of your because all it needs done is then a change of terms of reference and brought the council to change that. So, but um, I mean that's those are my thoughts on it. But as I agree with you, if it's tough to make a decision when it's not our area, right? In that moment. So, yeah. yeah. So, there is another section of boardwalk over near Thompson Lake. I can't remember that one that was fixed up recently. The, that's kind of a bridge. Molding Bridge. Sure. Well, yeah. Right. Okay. Where, where's the difference between a bridge and a boardwalk? Uh, <laughs> asking <AP. laughs> my point so anyways that's something that you guys have to keep in mind yeah uh, and we don't have the himba section i don't think is up for any like that's our you've already got money to fix that right well I was, we've already approved it yeah, yeah, 60, yeah, yes yes yeah. so i don't think it should come up again this year I don't. so i don't know why we would wait i think we just make the decision now like, it, Either it's part of our purview or it's not. Well, it's 
Uh, to be clear, it's not a decision that this group's making. It's a recommendation that we take to council for an edit of the terms of reference that they oh, would then approve. In our terms of reference, it already says that it isn't. It isn't, right. So we would have to update the terms of reference in order, if you wanted to include that. Well, I, that I'm going to vote saying no, we don't. Oh, okay. Oh, because they already have other stuff that they have to maintain. I would tend to agree that it's not really part of this little... Okay, so now you're saying it, you don't want it in before... No, I've never made it. I've never put down a side. I just said that we needed to decide as a group. Okay. So, that, yeah, so I, I, it's not time to vote yet, but I do think let's just make the, the darn decision now and get it over with. Alex? So, uh, just out of curiosity, where did the money for Muldoon Crescent Bridge come? We just used it out of the parks budget. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, it seems to me then that that the boardwalk by the Rob Road would just fall into whatever same category of parks and has for the Muldoon Bridge. Um, and then, you know, if, if if there are constraints in the parks budget and a little bit of flex room in the boardwalk budget, a decision can be made at, at the time when the issue comes up if some of that money can be allocated outside the boardwalk to the Rob Road or something but i don't think we need i don't think we need to clear the part of the school either no. oh, you can talk. Yeah, you can talk. Um, i guess two defining areas outside the boardwalk and, and understanding the magnitude of the repairs that may be required uh recommendation from this committee perhaps to look at a, a separate budget perhaps if, if uh, and i don't know why that's one of those financial issues where council may say no, you know, there's no money to give to that. So we have to kind of be flexible with the current boardwalk budget, but it may be a recommendation that we have to say, look, we're pressed as is with the, you know, I guess it's the most substantial one boardwalk, but it's not the only ones that we have to be somewhat sensitive to that or understanding that there may need to be a separate budget at some point, I guess. It's, I know that doesn't really solve the issue, but it's something to consider. Yeah. I don't want to overcomplicate okay. things, but um, I'm almost now regretting that I brought it up because maybe we should be waiting until after the closed session. Um, that may affect because that closed session may be interested in in um, working on that session. So I think you're, you, you know. Yeah, just just uh, separate from what we've done with the $60,000 this year, if we're just gonna look at the issue of what is our mandate, it's this area and it's not the Kimba Bridge or Boardwalk or the Muldoon. It's just that simple in my mind. Yeah. And, we should just accept that and parks, if they've got to do work on Muldoon Bridge, they find that money somewhere else or on a separate budget, but that's really not our concern. Mm -hmm. Our concern is here and we've got a lot of work to do. So that's where I would come. Like, yes, this year is different because it's already approved fine, but this is our area of scope and this is where our $60,000 should be spent. Excellent. Um, Alice, I just want to chime in and then, um, and just, just to, so I did sit with the original Bebo committee, and I think the reason when that group created the terms of reference and allocated budgets and created kind of the box that we have to play in, they allocated $60,000 to boardwalk, yeah. all of it, right? But that you guys had purview for specifically this area. However, um, as we discussed at that table at the time, we knew we weren't going to get the terms of reference 100% right on the first shot, right? Um, but I think you guys are are on the right track that the $60,000 should be spent on this committee and getting this up and running. And then Chad and Parks needs to have a conversation with council around, okay, if that's the case, what's happening with all of these other things, right? And start identifying those. We may not make the choice to make them very specific, like this is a Himba budget and this is a Moldy Bridge budget because then we don't have as much latitude, which is why Chad currently rolls everything under like green spaces and parks, um, except for playgrounds. Um, so kind of how that gets done, but I, I see where you guys are going. Um, and, I, and I think 
either way for this year would do. Add it to that spot. Oh, I was just in chat. Do you have a partner examples? Um, well, if I'm not taking out of my parts budget, I'm not going to lie to you. That's that would be my preference, but um, uh, either way, just like she's saying, either way, it, it, it is what it is. So, um, I know I, I, I kind of feel like the Muldoon one is a different thing personally. I and, and kind of feel like the Rob Road section is part of this, in my opinion. But because then I mean the wetland continues up to that point, essentially. And it's all in that kind of area. And it's a board. You know what I mean? That's my opinion. Not to overcomplicate it, but to a conversation we were having earlier about mm -hmm. trail connectivity. <clears throat> Ultimately, at some point, if this is going to connect us to the boardwalk and all of our trails, you know, you could get on one end and go to the other. Um, we will at some point have to start making delineations around this is very much Kimba. This is very much, you know, um, East Hardesty or however we want to do that. I just don't know that now is necessarily the do or die decision. Alex? Oh. So my next question is if we're all kind of on the same page that right now this is fine for the scope, we don't actually have to pass motion or do yep. anything because that's already what our term for right yes. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So with that in mind, oh, Trevor. Just one quick. I think it's just fair to also have that conversation because as a committee, you know, then there's a moving target of budget, right? If you if it's all that area, you know, where as a committee, then you know you have 60,000 or whatever and to work with. But if we're using it as everywhere, then this year you might have this amount of it. It's just, it's, it's, it doesn't give you good consistency as a committee to work with, that's all. So I think it's definitely worth a conversation. Definitely um, at the budget budget level. So, uh, no further comments on the Himba section. And then from Doug. All right, we're going to continue with our act. Well, we got, well, we have four. Okay, yeah. we're going to continue with our boardwalk prioritization activity. I did do the work. Um, of compi compiling those couple of um, sections that were counted a couple times. Yes, no. I think you, uh, I, I might be able to guess at what you guys were. Are we allowed to move things around in the agenda? Yes. I'm just wondering if we can have a closed session first because it may affect discussions regarding priority. It, it will, but I wanted to get a sense of your guys's actual feelings and priorities around it before we paint it with that brush in terms of if we i don't know how to that's all okay um so but we won't spend too too much time on it you know what? um let me just get into the zoom here so that doug can see and i will share my screen screen Okay, so okay, did that switch for you, Doug? Do you see the, is it different? No. You know this? Okay. All right, so there were a couple of sections that um, were duplicated when we did the priority exercise. So, you'll notice that the numbers this time around in the prioritization total are different and I've reordered them based on what you didn't get that right? uh yeah it's a link in your agenda so you can click on it it takes you to the link righty <laughs> um, you need a bigger bath so we can keep I'll probably get rid of just for right now that all right, um, so everybody has their updated map. <clears throat> All right, so as you guys can see here, even after we combined the sections that were duplicated that we counted as priorities in two places, you can see that section A remains our highest priority. Um, TWX and BB, we had talked about how those are kind of 
they line up, right? So those are kind of like you would do the maintenance in one sweep. So that's now our second priority. Sections E, let me find it on the map. Sorry, and you said section A, you meant section A, A, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A, did I say A? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A, A, and followed by TW, XBB. Did the tower get bumped? So what happened was, was yeah. it was, but when we added the points from all of the places you double counted stuff, the tower didn't get any additional points. So that's why I got moved down the but list. I, but I didn't think we double counted ED or EB, so I'm just not sure I'm going to go lower than those two. Um, it makes sense to me that it would switch places with this, like the second item to EW. Yeah, I think we had but I don't ED understand. down here twice. Oh, right, because it keeps going. So it was down here. We had it here. So I removed those okay. and included them in the top with ED. So okay. now that has a new score of 20. U and V is sitting at 18 and tower 16. Yeah. Well, it was, I was, I appreciate you doing that exercise because I think it's useful kind of showing that there's like, it's like a little bit of a race mm -hmm. to the top. And so these are all kind of in the running for our priorities. And, that's, and it, I mean, it makes sense to me that one on the on the east side of the lake there, and uh, tower, yeah, all of them, and then the big loop, the downstream loop. And what I also found really interesting was that the big jump, right, between 16 and then set. So like this area here to me is really identifying that if we were to make a plan, right, because we do have our work plan over here, in terms of years, if we were going to phase it, it seems to me that the data is telling us that those first sections should happen, you know, 22, 23, 24, that should be phase one, right, um, for those, those sections, it's what the data is telling me, but the opportunity here is for us to go, do we actually think that the tower is the number one priority, and we just want to make an executive decision to say that is number one, right, that's kind of what I was hoping you guys would decide today, we kind of go one by one, so I go section AA, do you guys want to keep it or move it, right? And then somebody eventually makes a motion to move it somewhere or not. So I'll give you guys a second to kind of digest what's on the screen here. I'll scroll up. Ooh, I can fit it all in one. Look at that. Did I really? Oh my gosh, I did. Or water. Mm. One of the easiest ones to do, but yeah, just one lonely boat who's not picked for the team. I only got two boats, but I also <laughs> Yeah, that's worthwhile. Hey. Oh, Kevin's here. Hi. Do you know Trevor? Uh, hey, Trevor. How's hey, Kevin. Um, Council is actually not able to be here today. So, okay. I mean, there's Mayor, I mean, there's Stuart, so that's why uh, Trevor joins us. So, Kevin, we're just, um, while they're kind of referring to what's on the screen here, I was just explaining to them that I went through the activity of um, where we had double counted certain sections and we wanted to squish them together. Um, we I took the points and reallocated them based on this, and this is our new priority ranking. Okay. Um, and kind of what we hope to do now is go section by section and have people decide, does that stay there or do we want to move it? Okay. Oh, Alex, okay. yes. Um, again, I would be curious to know your thoughts on this show. Just on what's prioritized. Unlike what you would. I, like, I, there, my thought, I, I, when we did the exercise initially, essentially, mine are all mine, the ones I picked are the top three. It's, I picked uh, all the ones that are still open but need a lot of work just so they don't end up closed. I wanted those dealt with right away. And then, of course, double A I picked as well. So, I like this list the way it is. <laughs> so before we go picking, I'm going to kind of open it up to everybody to kind of give their thoughts. Um, 
think Alice just asked her question. So if you guys want to just give me a little one of these and I'll throw you on the list. So it's just general discussion? Yeah, at this point, yeah. Sure, I have yeah. the ability to speak. We know. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I'd like to list if people fight hard to move the tower up, I would probably be able to give in to moving it up one. But that's probably as far as I would move it, just because I do like that section ED to be fixed up, especially considering that we're not going to be doing the water deck for a long time, I don't think. So that kind of raises the importance of ED. I know there's a lot of uh, love for the tower, but yeah, that's my thoughts. I, I would be able to give in to moving up UB. But that's as far as I would probably go. I can share. Yeah. I guess I don't know. Kevin, um, take it away. I just jumped right in and that list this looks great. I don't know. <laughs> Two, three, I don't to me, they all look like great priorities and could interchangeably be important. So yeah, I don't know. Just sharing a lot of around great to me. And else? <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of, I'd like the tower to be higher, but I would be concerned about uh, like W, the condition of those. You don't want to get them once the that's the main connector. <laughs> um, but yeah, I could move it up one. Um, similar, because the other ones are pretty important structures. But that's fun. It's like, I, I definitely think that the, Tower is like a passion for everyone, but we know that that process in terms of getting the approval is going to take forever, forever anyway. Um, so for that reason, I think I'm okay leaving it there with an understanding with this group that we, as soon as that approval comes, we're having a discussion around, are we doing it now? Are we doing it next year? Where are we putting it? Um, Trevor? Yeah, being new to this, obviously, but... And I love the map, by the way. I never get to see it on the video, so I love it. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, I like the tower too. But you know, you and V, I think, is another really important part of it. You know, just for the the experience of the boardwalk. Or granted, the the beaten boardwalk is great, or the 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 tower is. But I agree with what Heather said. You know depending on where we're at with all the other work too and how long it takes to get the tower and then reassess once the tower approval is done, then I think that's the conversation to have then, so. Alice? Um, I might be way off here and that's totally fine, but would there be any benefit? Because I would imagine, I, I'm not sure what it would take to fix the water deck at this point, but like, would it be similar to the tower and could those be rolled into the same approval? I'm totally on basic side, but. Yes. No, I don't think you're off base at all. I don't even think the water deck, depending on how we decide to build it, will require an approval. If we're putting it on floats, we don't need an approval. Right. Right. So it just really depends. And that's why here uh, in the yes, no, yes, no column, it had a to be determined because I wasn't sure what this group wanted to do with that. So I think the water deck is a low hanging fruit because it's easy to do, cheap to do, and we don't require any approvals. So for any reason that perhaps maybe that one goes in not necessarily at the top of the priority list, but get slotted into our work plan in 2022 because that's something Chad's guys can do. Just volunteer shit. Cool. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Does that answer your question, Alex? Yeah. So I don't know if anyone else would be interested in moving that up the list, but I, I mean, it could stay in the bottom. Like you said, we can still incorporate it into the plan. So that might be a small interest. Yep. Yeah. I would agree if we can combine the water deck without it turning into a zero track nightmare, that wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Um, section AA, um, my only concern with it is integration with the bridge and whatever happens from there. You know, if it happens before the ramps or um, my other consideration, really, I, I don't mind the order the way it is, but. Um, I guess too, with uh, the past week, or there's certain contingencies that may have to come up as well. 
just simply because if we get a, a carbon copy in last week or the work you plan and the work you can do, right. very different things. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. That's the idea of what we're doing, though. If, if priority eight can't be done, but we have the money and we have, then we can say, okay, let's roll into the next one. Uh, and I would hope that we won't run into as many of the issues as last year, because like Chad was saying, if we decided to go ahead with V and U here, we're now more familiar with what the action of the work looks like, what the equipment looks like, how much space they need. So Chad's fairly confident that we can come in through this trail, bust through the bush, and deal with it that way, as opposed to having to trample the wetland from the other side. And then we're, you know, less restrained by the thickness of the ice. Yeah. Would anyone um what if I what if we what if we attach the water deck to E and D since it's connected to E already. Would that make sense from like the actual perspective? Because it would be separate, it would be separate. Like you're saying parks would do the water network and you would have some like byline too. The, the, oh, I, 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 okay, sorry, you're right, but I guess you're, yeah, I didn't know that that's what you were saying. I thought that like the money would still come out of us. It will. Mm -hmm. Um, the issue being that let's say there's there's timelines associated with E and D, right? Whereas we might be able to just get the water deck, oh, yeah. right? I, I don't know why we're even talking about yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Well, then the water could that even just be done with the regular maintenance budget? The, the regular maintenance budget for anything in the boardwalk is the 60 hay. Yeah. So, so yeah, we could, we could today when we move on to work plan, decide the very first thing Chad's guys are going to do is figure out how to put that deck back. Okay. For next year. We've already, you've already, we've already, you've already got your 60 grand for this year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Heather, you had some kind of early cost estimates on a column to the right. Can you scroll to the right? Yeah, right there. Okay, so the, you don't have anything for the tower yet. Okay. <clears throat> no, that's going to really depend on what our environmentalists say and what the engineers say on how to build it. Fortunately. All right, Alice, I'm talking. Like, do we have any? Are we going to run into problems integrating with this, this with the bridge? Like, that's like what Tom was saying. Like, do we know if we decide to do AA, what we're what we're getting into here yep uh to a certain extent uh what i can speak to right now is the fact that after this meeting there will be an admin meeting with respect to aa and the timelines because what we discussed and discovered here last time was if all of a sudden we want access hang on i'm upside down just give me a second if we want access to all over here the easiest way to do that is to come through here and i'm not trying to chop through chad's new boardwalk or the new ramps um, just to get to section 8A. But I also am not willing to put us in a situation where we're just destroying a bunch of wetlands so that we can build AA, right? So we want to synchronize those timelines the best we can. Okay. Does anybody have anything else that they want to just speak to? Otherwise, I'm going to call the question for each one. Totally forgot you're on my list. Tom, sorry, go. It happens. No worries. Um... I guess my perspective on the water deck too is if you're going to float it, do you envision more maintenance required? Are you going to have to pull it out in the fall or are you going to have to put it back in the spring? Is there? I uh, see. So yeah, and this is kind of all newish. The only kind of thing like this I've dealt with really is the, the dock down at Riverfront Park. It's a floating dock. Um, typically, we take it out. We didn't last year um, because we talked to you. Okay. His name. He's with the paddle. Like, Rich Rich yeah, and he said that we should just leave it in. Like, and so we left it in last year. Um, uh, so I'm not sure if, like, and that's a moving kind of, that's a river. Uh, so I don't know, like, we might not have to take it out. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the plants and what the, 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 the depends on the nature of the floats, exactly. Yeah. Well, so I don't know. As someone who grew up in a lake with dogs all the time, that you're way safer to take it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like it's automatically safer. So yeah. yeah. 
And, and maybe, it should uh, be like it's not a huge thing, so <clears throat> it should yeah. be uh, you should be able to design it so that it's not a hard yeah. load. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it wouldn't be on hand to grab it with it. Where do you put it? How do you keep it from being the shoe itself? That's right, exactly. The dock, I know, was a pain in the ass. I love it. Yeah. Thanks. 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 Can I just have a question? Yes, Kevin. Yeah, just sorry. Um, so when you said that, you know, like when it floats, it doesn't need extra water act permission. Why is that? Like, um, yeah, because it's, it's still a, a feature on yeah, water. So it's a number of reasons. So yeah. um, the larger issue that we're having with our maintenance plan right now is the hydrology and the way that we've been moving the um, ecosystems in the sand in the bottom, right? So when yep. things float on top of the water, that's less of an impact. However, mm -hmm. even when we're drilling into the boardwalk, we need to make sure that we're catching all of our shavings and things like that. We're not dropping screws and, and what have you. So yep. this is something that worked really well with the boardwalk this time where, where they build some stuff offsite and then just bring it and put it on. So in that way, it's like kind of like a canoe. However, how it attaches to the shoreline is also very important because if whatever we're doing on that shoreline is impacting like erosion or yeah. if you're increasing it, decreasing it, stopping the flow of water back to the wetland, then AEP might come to us and, you know? Yeah. Um, so we would check with them, of course, but I'm, I'm almost certain that they would just say, well, as long as you do this while you're attaching it to the edge, you're good to go. Right. But there's no analysis of uh, we put a floating dock on and we're creating more visitation on a water body impact on the aquatics that's not a factor no because we had that item in there before so it's considered part of the boardwalk oh okay yeah um if it was a new item yeah then we may have to seek separate just hey we're thinking this and then they would tell us wait nothing maybe even aware or do um do a follow-up okay just, yeah. just curious okay thank you okay seeing no other questions just a question on the the cost you had there on the right um i'm assuming those are just based on fine lines actual costs and the length of each section yeah so the the notes what did i put in here so it was for conventional so like the same pile and decking replacements um it included the twenty thousand dollars is not included in there for a mob and demo um and then it was based on the average cost per linear meter as outlined in the fine line RFP submission. So we really just did some averaging to give us an idea. Um, but, but of course, until we have an actual plan and our deep cost estimates, we don't really know. Okay. All right, all right. So I think I might just do these as a um, keeping section AA. Um, actually, I can't actually make it. Somebody has to make charging duty yeah or you can just ask for consensus oh yeah okay you don't need an actual motion, motion just perfect. to see if consensus and then Perfect. accepting this as yeah because you can do it all together okay cool so can we seek consensus that section a a should remain the number one priority all those in favor okay cool um Doug, are you catch? Are you jotting these down? Okay, perfect. I just wanted to make sure. Um, see, to see consensus that section T W X B B remain as the second priority. All those in favor? Do I speak if I don't agree? Because I may agree. How do we normally do that? More seeking consensus. Uh. Yeah, before, yeah, yeah, you call to the consensus and there's, if she has reason. Okay. Because yep. then it might sway up. Right. Okay. Alice? Okay. So I'm just worried about why now. Because <laughs> it's all biased. So, but I think maybe that's that's not an issue. We'll just deal with it as we need to. Okay. Sorry. I think I made an issue of another guy. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to think out loud. Why? Starts talking. Yeah. You guys are good. Do you want me to recall that question? Do we want to talk about it? I don't want. To. I'm good. 
Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean yeah. that. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> I get, I'm assuming Y would come in with either AAA or PWXBB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we just have to keep that in mind when we're voting on these. Yeah, like in, when, yeah. And yeah. the reason that it ended up with this list as opposed to AA was because there were no pairings where um, Y and AA oh. were identified. Yeah. Um, those, if I may, those sections are still good, right? If there's no way yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which can fall later at another time when they aren't good, but. Yeah, I think just to make a, a point, uh, I believe from last meeting, Chad said good is uh, a matter of yeah. what kind of winter you have. Right. Right. That's true, very true. Yeah, I did call that. Right. As much as I appreciate good, I guess we can hold the good luck to know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 So far, I guess this is far as I So we got consensus on that one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that uh, C consensus that section E and D remain as the third priority. All those in favor? Um, and perfect. It's in. So, did he vote? Kevin? Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I missed it. So I thought maybe he was. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Um, that section or C consensus that section U and V uh, remain as the fourth priority. All those in favor? Well, I, I mean, <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go on. Okay, let's ask her why. Okay, Alice. Um, well, I think both Jan and Beth had mentioned they would prefer to have a tower above U and V, and that's how I'm going. Okay, we can call that question instead. So we could do a C consensus that section R supersede U and B. Sure. All those in favor? Sure. <laughs> if you don't raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doug, what did you, did you yes or no? I'm happy with the order that they're at right now. You be okay. able to vote. Okay, so that's got to keep the vote. Okay, so that one. Yeah, what was the vote? Back to you now? The vote was to uh, the Tower of uh, No, no, I mean, what was the count? Oh, sorry, it was one, two, three, four to two. And then what was your vote, Trevor? Uh, I'm not sure. hundred <laughs> percent. Is the vote over? No, we just have to read it. Yeah, I just got to make sure we're, I'm, I'm voting for the right thing because. So we moved on to whether R should supersede oh, unity. Yeah. So I would, I would, if I make a suggestion, I would suggest if U, V, and R are contention, then that could be an actual function. Okay. And then, but to go with the other ones for now, because I think it's just something that is a motion. It's changing this. Um, and, and if somebody has the appetite to do that, I think of motion. Because I'm changing my mind. Yeah. So I think that probably will be next better because then you could do that one separate. The rest of them you can as presented, but this particular anyway. one, yeah, that's what I'm just thinking. Because if we're going to change the order, that's what that's my. Okay. So can I make the motion and then if people are not agreeing with me and we just withdraw the motion at that point? Um, yeah, typically. I mean, you can if there can, but there can be discussion on the Yeah. So do you want to put a motion on the floor to do with section R right now, Alice, or? Sure. <laughs> okay. What would you like to be? Uh, I would move to uh, move section R to above section UB. Okay, hey, right. anybody likes to speak, or Alice, you get to speak to it first. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want anybody to talk about it. Okay. Uh, Beth, and then yeah. you. I think, I think we're meeting it up in priority is a good idea simply because we know it's going to take a long time to get the approvals. So if we move it in priority, you get the approval maybe a little bit earlier, and then you still might not get the approval to after you do you and me. Like, we just don't know that. So I would move it up 
in priority just to you know kind of highlight that there are issues in terms of approvals that may take longer than we think anyway so let's get going on it and that's what I think that's all I have to say yeah no I don't need you're good yes. uh yes sir go ahead um sort of mixed on the whole thing but uh understanding that the approval may take a year I, I guess changes that too because the priority of the work may require that the other one gets done before the tower does anyway. Um, and I don't know that the priority and the actual order of the work are going to be as we are planning it. So and that's a I guess that sort of flip flop that a little bit. That's kind of where I'm at with it. I, I again the vagaries of an approval and, and construction and a whole bunch of other things means there's a lot of different there's a lot of balls in there to make that thing happen the way we've envisioned this. And that's a really good point, um, Tom, in that when we actually get to the point of going to tender, let's say, on certain sections, our, what we have here in priority may not line up in terms of the five-year plan. And that's okay. But the reason that we go through this exercise is so that when the public asks, why did you guys choose that instead of this? Well, we have done all of this work to identify what this group is prioritizing. Right? And then we can explain to them, well, we have better access on this section. So we're going to do it in this season, right? Um, this is kind of the pre-work that we do in advance of any engagement um, for the public. Um, so don't feel so restricted, I guess, by the priority. This is just to give us all an even playing field with, with how we're going to move forward. Just, yeah. just to add on, I guess, to the vagaries of funding and, and timelines at the end of the end of a funding window or the end of uh, a term there's a lot of like again a lot of balls in the air there to mm -hmm. to get it to line up so and i mean i think over the last part of our term where we're having emergency meetings to reprioritize i think, I think that should be rather instructive to what we're doing um i have kevin in the queue but uh doug did you want to get in on the, the next like i just noticed your mic is open okay we're good Kevin, did you? Uh, some of this? Yeah, I didn't put my hand up. Yeah, sure. I mean, all I would just say is, uh, yeah, I mean, what I, what I like about the plan is you guys are presenting is like, you know, I've been a big fan all along of thinking about the core experience and building out from there and restoring the core experience and going from there. And that's exactly what we kind of got going. And, you know, um, you know, interchangeably putting the tower higher or lower is totally great. Like just, I don't know, like I say, it was, I think opportunistically, you'll, of opportunities to seek out certain things. Um, so, yeah, I didn't vote in favor of the motion. If the motion wasn't there, I'd still vote in favor anyway, because I think the the plan overall, holistically, is, is solid. So, and you're restoring the, um, you know, the, the really needing to be added back sections, which I think is really important too. So, so uh, it's great things or other good things. It's great. Things. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else before we call Alice's motion to question? All right. Doug, do you have that motion handy that you can read out for us? Because I can't remember what it is. Uh, Alice making a motion for Tower R to be of sections U and B. All those in favor? One, two, three, four. Carried. Okay. That one is Carrie. So I'm just going to make a note in here. I'm not going to try and edit it on the fly because I'll delete something. So just. What uh, what was the final count there? Uh, two, two, one, two, three. No, one, two, three, four, five to two. Um, All right. One that ended up on here was um, actually now. I guess the question is U and V. So imagine in your brains that U and V is now under section R. <laughs> okay. Um, can we seek consensus that section U and V remains in position after section R? <laughs> Doug, 
Cool. All right. <clears throat> um, wheelchair accessibility, Mountain Street. We tried to talk about this last time. A bunch of people voted for it, but I literally in my mind, like Mountain Street does not give you access to the boardwalk. So I think they meant to say college. Mm -hmm. That would make more sense. Um, well, that was, um, I was the one that put that item down when we did the prioritization oh. a couple of meetings ago. It was for the um, the church parking lot. That was the, yeah. that's, that's where that one started from. Oh. Right. There is a spot there. Oh. I, I'm sorry, I don't know off the top of my head what that street is called. I can't remember. Uh, yeah. It is Mountain Street. It is. It is. Um, but I will do, well, who knows? Chad, what's that church called? Uh, 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 no. Which church? Mormon church is the uh, latter day thing. Something church of latter day. Yeah, latter day. Yeah, I don't want to get it wrong. So I'm just gonna write church and then I'll. Yeah, yeah. I'll jump. Don't you mean right? No, I don't. Is that on church? It's close to. Oh. Oh yeah. Where you did all that uh, right. reclamation right. stuff yeah. last year. Yeah. Yeah, down there. Sit on the bench. Well, oh, they did some work down there too. Oh. So, like you know, Tara, I don't understand. Yeah, so I'm gonna ask Doug, Doug what actually you're talking about. So with that trail that goes down there right now, that's gravel, I believe. Are you when you say wheelchair accessible, are you envisioning that that just becomes a gravel path or well, I picked that one off because that was one of the items in the um, ISL report is, is yeah. the, the most likely to be improved to make wheelchair access. So that's why I picked that one up because it has some synergies for potential parking. It's got some synergies where you could grade it down to the boardwalk. Um, I mean, that's not my opinion in particular. I just picked it off the ISL report as something that was of interest for a capital upgrade. Can I see? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I didn't see this before. In my opinion, this is not under our purview. It has nothing to do with the boardwalk. It doesn't even connect to the boardwalk. It connects to a town trail. But that town trail is in our purview. No, it's not. Our, our, our is it this one? That's that's a town trail, but it's not part of the boardwalk. Right. And I brought that up at the beginning on our first meeting. Is our prior is our purview the boardwalk? And the answer was yes. Right, but the map in the terms of reference <laughs> include and and that was I think I think how to race. Someone said that no, no, it needs to be more. Like the Maxwell Lake area, so because it was just only boardwalk, and then they made us take take that out. So I can pull that up and we can double check. But when it was Mountain Street, which I thought you guys meant Collinge, that made most sense to me. Like that Collinge Sutherland, mm -hmm. uh, that's what I thought. Oh, this so one. You can see your budget start to if you start having to deal with town dirt trails and stuff. So just keep that in mind, people. But I think the wheelchair accessibility piece of that is valuable. So someone who voted on that might have looked at that and go, oh, I don't know what street is on, but I think wheelchair accessibility is important. So, but that's just something you raised in the town saying that this should be wheelchair accessible. But what what about it is not wheelchair accessible at this point? Because I know I've seen people zooming along there and going on to the boardwalk. You know, when I'm when I'm at the beaver feeding station. Um. I think if people are coming, like, I guess, yeah, if they have one place to access it, but like with that Sutherland and how you come down that main side. Sutherland's bad. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's bad for even walking. So so that, um, that, that particular item, I think, morphed a little bit from when it was first proposed, because when I first put, suggested it, it, it was not necessarily wheelchair accessibility. It was just more accessibility. Uh, I mean, right now, parking and access to the boardwalk can be a little limited, right? You have uh, that Cullen Road access you kind of got that trail coming past the church then you kind of on the east side there on Sutherland Road so um it was more about just improving accessibility and then I think there was also another component of potential wheelchair accessibility that maybe got uh combined into that one uh, when the post-it notes were flying Kevin yeah yeah sure um I'm not sure. I might have actually put wheelchair accessibility in as an idea when we first started this. And I'll just speak to why I, um, when you look at the whole boardwalk holistically, uh, you know, it, it itself is, is quite, you know, accessible minus the bridge component, but it really isn't um, an at grade, you know, wheelchair access to that site. I mean, 
accountability fund. You know, I mean, it's it's sloped and it's you know tried tried rolling around in a wheelchair and it just isn't. So I mean, just the, the only reason for throwing it out there is because it, you know wheelchairs and wellness and whatnot is a whole different line of funding and grant opportunities and things. But mm -hmm. if you had something like that in long range, say after you got the boardwalk fixed stuff and all that, then as a wellness thing, it, it makes it a universal boardwalk, and then you've got I, so I an extra line of no, opportunities. That's all. That's yeah, I, like my husband was in a wheelchair and he would go around there all the time. But in terms of just general access, that might be something down the road. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, like that access on Sutherland or whatever is late. Well, yeah, that's a banger. So, anyway, thanks. Yeah. As, a, as a general comment on just improving access to one any one of the three kind of main areas where you could park and get there right now, certainly combining that with wheelchair accessibility, as Kevin says. But, maybe help with grant funding to do that thing. Um, Alex, so, sorry, Jeff, can you repeat that? I was distracted. Can you, can you repeat what you said? So the, the general comment, or I think that item started with just an improving general access to the boardwalk parking and how to get there, because right now it can be a little bit limited. So of the three kind of road accesses you have right now, uh, that Mountain Street by the church was one potential one that could be upgraded for going there, but uh, the comment about it being combined with wheelchair accessibility uh, was not necessarily the original intent of the item, but it certainly may not be a bad idea as doing so can sometimes improve your grant funding availability, as Kevin says, for that sort of thing. Alex? Okay, so I have a couple of comments. The first one is about wheelchair accessibility. Um, I, I know that through talking with Ben, we, we counted at least three people who were making regular use in wheelchairs with the boardwalk. Um, at different periods, obviously, it was easier when it was newer. Um, and so accessibility should improve as, improve as we fix it. Um, I'm wondering, does any, since we're a public committee, does, is anyone actually engaging with people who are requiring or asking for more accessibility? Because it's one thing to assume that it's better to have it, but is, is it actually something that the community is in need of and it, if it is that's great i would just like to know about it i think we use the term uh wheelchair accessibility but a lot of the feedback that we received in the original vivo committee um was actually to do more with strollers um mom's trying to push strollers in the gravel and then they also have the toddler and she's like, i can only imagine um and then we did have a few people also in along that same vein say Oh, um, yes, like someone in one of the motorized wheelchairs even struggle a little bit harder than someone that's, you know, powering it of, of their own force, um, just because of the rocks and things like that, and it wobbles, I guess. Um, so have we had direct feedback? Yes. Have we engaged with them on what would be best in terms of the design? Not yet. Um, but that that is very valuable. But I, I, what I guess what I'm wondering is if wheelchair accessibility becomes an overarching item that gets evaluated when we are doing each section, right? Because in some sections, we know that doesn't apply, but at like an entry to the boardwalk, for example, that, that should apply. We should consider that then. I don't know that it needs to be its own priority in here. Those are just my thoughts. Uh, Trevor, then Tom. Yeah, I would agree. Cause I mean, there's certain standards that's supposed to be met, right? And this is a public, place so i think we need to look at it through that lens whenever we're doing anything like this you know because i mean there are some stores that don't have it and but it's a public place it's a public you know but this is or I should say it's private but this is a public place so i think i agree i don't know if making it a priority on the list but it should be considered whenever doing anything with the paper we're walking in, in that regard so and i think strollers fit into that right so <laughs> And, and to, to Tom's point, or maybe it was Kevin, I don't remember, but yes, grants, every, anytime you can make it more accessible to everyone, the more likely you are to get those grants. So, okay. Um, so, oh, yeah. I'm going to comment there on, on that one. So I, I don't personally know any folks in, in wheelchairs, but uh, as, as a baby stroller pusher myself, um, certainly the boardwalk can be a little bit challenging. And for improving access, I, I would definitely uh, recommend that the access improvements, whatever they are, are more on the east side, say 
uh, Mountain Street or Sutherland or something closer to Maxwell Lake, simply because those are the areas that melt faster. So you can actually get on there without snow obstructing your stroller, whereas stuff around the beaver pond, like section CWX, BB, the snow stays on there right up until the end of spring. So even if you do have good wheelchair access, you're not pushing your stroller um, or with my, with, without much difficulty in that area, whereas stuff you know closer to Maxwell Lake on the, the north side, the northeast side of that whole area, it's generally easier. The snow melts faster. Yeah, I didn't uh, recognize that about the east side, Doug. So that that's I made a note of that. That's excellent. Any further? Uh, Tom, sorry, I'm literally I'm just scratching the names off. Go ahead. Okay, no. thank you. Um, to Jan's point about in our purview or not, I looked it up. It was definitely on the side. Um, but I also realized the fact that accessibility is uh, perhaps a wider more broad definition than we're accustomed to. Um, so we're talking stores. I, I have a friend in the military who's made some rather heated comments, uh, both personally and uh, on, on social media about his lack of access to the bridge. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm entirely sympathetic to that, but I also understand that the wheels of government require certain things in order to turn. So, I guess it's, I'm not really saying anything new or saying here. It's, it's, it's a matter of uh, the time and the recognition of accessibility and being a broader concept. So, with that being said, if there's no additional comments, I would seek consensus that accessibility um, remain an overarching um, consideration as we address each section. Are, like, are we going to remove this item? Yeah, so I made a note in here, right, to just like, oh, consider this overall. Nah, nah, nah. So I wouldn't remove it at this point. I'll make a new, like, I'll reformat this okay. into like an actual priority document, put like a note about that at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, no. that, like, I, I guess, what do you think of that, Doug? Because <laughs> he was talking about how it related to the church. I did like the church specifically, and again, I was mostly picking it off the ISL report. It wasn't my idea, but um, lots of parking opportunities there, more so than anywhere else. Are you comfortable with Heather's suggestion? I think, I mean, I just leave it as is. That was what was on the post-it note, I guess, and what folks did vote on. Uh, Jan and then Trevor. So I don't mean to be a stickler here, but yeah. I was going to uh, go and look through this stuff before, but Tom has brought up that he's found proof that land trails are not within our purview. And I'm not saying right or wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying we have to make a decision here because we can't start putting stuff that's going to have budgetary lines on it if it's not within our purview. We have no, no say in it. Quick clarification point, uh, the terms of reference says that particular trail and not sign. Oh, that particular, okay. okay. So not, so so the rest, some of these trails are? In connect, well, it's a connectivity thing again. I keep coming back to that one. Uh, some of the trails are within, that trail connects to another trail that goes outside the area. So I guess contextually, I, I not having not uh, the, Passing familiarity with the ISL report. I'm not aware of the context either, so it kind of leaves me guessing a little bit as to what exactly we would be improving or not improving. Sorry, I had a question about the Maxwell Lake Trail. Beyond just went, and then okay, so Trevor, then Tom, and then you want to be back in the queue? Well, I, I, yeah. No, I finished actually. Oh, okay. Go ahead. That's okay. No, 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 okay, Trevor. All I was going to say was, I, I think that two things. One, as far as I understand with this group too, you can make recommendations to council. And I think this is a recommendation. Two, as I think, I think it sounds to me like a conversation for a future meeting mm -hmm. to really review those terms of reference in the area. Yeah. Uh, I think that, I think some clarity needs to be put on that, um, you know, because um, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But I think that you guys can still 
for that connectivity identify that hey mountain street that area you know you know the town might consider looking at wheelchair accessibility there when when assessing it um, but it falls out of our preview but you know it did come up as as a conversation as this committee that and that's just me coming in here and and you know uh, those thoughts but I, I really do see the need for that deeper conversation just to clarify the area and to that point if this committee did make that recommendation about this trail specifically because we've identified that as like a really good way to access the the boardwalk from mountain street there's nothing saying that that has to go in our annual budget as part of boardwalk you guys could say this is a really good idea hey council we think this is a really good idea and they could direct chad yep. to bring an operational business case or a capital project business case forward and it gets its own budget for yep. just that piece right so it's not but I, I think let's table nope let's go to Trevor, then tom then you okay. tom I think I've said my piece. Okay. I can't remember that time. Are you sure you don't want to? I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah? Nope. You stole my thunder. That's exactly Stolen right. thunder. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Alice has more thunder. Alice. <laughs> so, so now I'm conflicted because before Trevor spoke, I was thinking we could just remove this item and put it as a, a, a general note. But now I'm wondering should it be a. Well, I guess it's not because this is a priority for our, our yeah. budget. It's a priority for which items you think are most important to the community, to yourselves, to complete first. Within our scope. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, that's central. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I would, I like your suggestion. I would like, like a wheelchair access, access be sort of an overarching consideration, especially if we're starting to deal with areas um, access areas but in, in terms of the review of terms of reference for accessibility i mean you're talking about mountain street but to me sutherland is really important and it's not a very nice access there so if we get into that at some point you know where would our priorities be for fixing up the access that's a whole other different um different discussion rather than mountain like the church parking lot who's ever have you talked to the church who knows where that's going to go but we know Sutherland is a key key point of access and it's really in some some seasons it's pretty brutal to go up and down that hill or just even people walking never know my backs in a wheelchair yeah. so to me that in terms of where's our priority for access that's a whole other discussion but I do like your suggestion that overarching we can we keep that in mind especially if we're dealing with areas near the you know access points i'm just making a note about that then. okay next. yeah and then trevor's yes, next i i just recommend maybe just removing it all together and not being part of this list because it's not part of your area um and then making that you know recommendation you know to 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 that area but i think if it falls outside of there, I would say that it comes out, um, you know, and then you focus on your area, but that doesn't stop you from making a recommendation to councillors. And then last we have, oh, that's Trevor. Did you get on the list, Tom? Yeah. Um, go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, the best point, too, I, I guess um, some of the context is, is missing for me from Mountain Street, but I just having been in the area enough, it's it's a lot flatter. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and again, I'm, I'm not sure of the parking site with the church. However, uh, there's an existing town trail there um, with the connectivity, and it, it's in that gray area where we can argue about that for days. And then uh, the fact remains is there needs to be some discussion to understand accessibility and understand what the actual context is. That's kind of all we got. Okay, um, slight issue. Oh, did Doug? Oh, he's there. Okay. Um, don't have my computer for. So it's not even in the building. I left it out. And everybody else takes theirs. So we no longer have the document to refer to. Um, I think we've done a pretty decent job of setting the highest priorities that we have. I think we're quite clear on that. Um, so I'll bring updated 
documents to the next um, meeting. So if it's okay with everybody, I think we should move on to 4.4, .4, which is our roundtable update, um, just kind of thoughts from everyone. And then um, we'll do five, and then I um, will move into closed session if that works for Rebecca, yes, Alex. Do we not have to come to a consensus vote on with that row that we were talking about? Um, so. I literally just wrote down for us to have our very own, very specific topic about access and accessibility points on the next agenda because I think this could go on forever. Yes, beyond. Can we just add to that discussion uh, all land trails? Sure. So, yes. Should be able to. Oh, yeah. You have to sign into the meeting. Yeah. Can we take a bio break? Yeah. yeah. I'll just pause for a little. Let's see if I can. Pop it now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't still have. Okay. Well, for what are we on? Okay, I gotta stand up here so that I can see. Well, did we get consensus on the wheelchair accessibility for what we were doing with that? But that's what we're on. Yeah, I put that one as a further discussion at our next meeting, so I won't okay. move it okay. right now. Because okay. uh, I think we need more discussion about that and then also land rails. So the north south connection. That is the ramps, right? So do we see the point in prioritizing it when Diana has that as a project? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead. Yeah. So I so if I may, we did move that I would get consensus to remove it because yeah. you're gonna make a motion to accept right. all this. So. So can I seek consensus to remove north and south connection, which is the ramps, from our priority list? Yep. All in favor and done. Perfect. I will make a note because my computer is dead. All right, next one. So currently we have section open sections, which it was just labeled as open sections. And section three, or wow, section C, both tied for third place. How did we get open sections being a section? Somebody just wrote open section. I think actually that was yes. oh. I think that was maybe Albert. That's right, right. Because at uh, one time, how long have I got understanding that closed sections stay closed until we figured stuff out? So we used to kind of refer to that's that that my But it's also so, a little high to be Hold up. Okay. Alice? Yes. Is it time to remove that? We, we can yeah. certainly seek consensus. Because it's just. I don't, see, I don't even understand. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's okay. Well, I would. I would. I mean, I don't get it. Yeah, open section. Yeah, that could be literally any flip, right? How do we? I mean, I'm just going to switch to mine because there's no thing in the legend that says that open yeah. section, right, or anything. Yeah. No, no, it just okay. means that it's not closed. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no way. Alice, I, I see that. I mean, there and there are multiple sections on here that are not on that list. Mm -hmm. So I would think that anything that fell under closed, like. Anything that fell under that category would just now be off the list and not considered a priority. Um, but we do also have our condition assessment, which will also layer on top, which has every section in it, right? So we'll go back to that later. These are just the priorities that this group identified. So I guess I'll try first for seeking consensus to remove open sections from this priority plan. Every single section will be identified. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we have section C. We can send this with section C remains at this priority. 
All those in favor? Does anybody want to discuss? No. no. Okay. I could, but no. <laughs> All right, that one's just staying. So I'll make a note. Okay. Uh, I just did wayfinding. Last but not least, anybody want to move the water deck up? Back to that question. Did, didn't we just sort of? Sorry, didn't we sort of say it would be included in chat sort of general budget? So <laughs> we did, but we didn't see consensus on that. But it would come out of it would still come out of the boardwalk. Um, oh. But I think that was one of those low hanging fruits. Just one second now. So I think we could, like we said, if it ends up wherever it lands in the actual plan, just knowing that that's a low hanging fruit that maybe we can move around if we need to. But Alex, yes. Okay. So so I think. If anyone else has discussion, I think I'll make a motion to move it up to below section UV, which would protect like section UV and the tower are switched. So below those kind of five top priorities we have. That's where I would move the water deck. So that's an official motion from Alice. So Alice, you're suggesting that uh, the water deck would move up. To wheelchair accessibility. Yeah, well, right wheelchair. about wheelchair yeah. accessibility. Okay. Um, we'll call that motion. Does anybody want to speak to? Mm -hmm. uh, what what was the water deck item? So they want to move. The motion is to move the water deck priority to above wheelchair accessibility. What 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 is it though? What is the water deck? So water deck on the map there, Doug, is by J. And it's where it goes onto the Maxwell Lake there. Yeah, so, yeah I, it's called the dock. My label got okay. overwritten. Okay, so it's the dock that's currently on some really rotted screw piles right now. And it's going to be replaced with something that floats. Is that what the intention of that item is? There's nothing there right now. It was a move, but it was there. Yeah. Yes. Oh, isn't there something? No, it's gone. I think the only thing sitting there now is the piles, if I'm correct. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. At the end of that dock, there there was a, a platform. It was it was considerably wider than the dock itself. It okay. actually sunk underwater, just just sunk over time or whatever. And so we so removed it so that no one would go on it and slip or okay, so it or drown or whatever. So the existing dock is like ten feet. Um, extension or 20 foot extension off the boardwalk. How much larger was this water water deck? Probably, uh, I was going to say 12 by 12. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that seems fair. Yeah. Not huge. Not I didn't know. Really. I didn't. So, uh, probably a whole question is that, that section J, that existing kind of deck extension is also in really terrible shape. I don't think we even put it on here, did we, to repair it? I think in my mind, in my mind, those go together because the only reason that little deck piece is there was to attach the dock to. Okay, so it's so if you do that though, it's no longer no handed fruit then is it? It's it's a project okay. to replace piles, replace a deck section, et cetera. Yeah. And then the question then makes can it come under the maintenance budget depending on you know, you're talking about now. You're talking about existing boardwalk plus the the the, the deck. Alice, okay. So I'll speak to my motion, and the reason that I still want to move it up um, to yeah is because I mean we have E and D already as a priority above it, mm -hmm. um, and so it might make sense to do J in the water dock deck at the same time as it. Um, and I just don't want it to, like, I want, if it's something that we can do easily with next year's maintenance item, I don't want it to fall off the radar. I just kind of want it to be a little bit higher up because it's a really nice viewpoint. It's a really peaceful place to be. Um, I wasn't here for any of the voting. So if I'm putting in my two cents about my priorities, I would, I would want to do that. Um, what, anybody, what, how was J, how was section J set up? For condition on Chad's assessment, what did it look like right now? 
it's good, but it could change, you know, like you said. Um, I, I was on there not too long ago. I didn't think it was like rotted out like terribly, but it and maybe I missed something. Um, right now it's it's at a good. Okay, if there are no further individuals who wish to speak to Alice's motion, I'm going to call to question that the water deck be reprioritized to being above wheelchair accessibility. All those in favor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Thinking too many things. So that was a full blown motion, so that carries. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Just a second, Jan. I gotta finish my notes. Okay, Jan. I'd just like to speak to the weed uh, wainage, the uh, wayfinding signage. I think that that was brought up by me because of me finding people lost very very often on all parts of the trails land trails and so that was more of me bringing it up i've written to council before on it and i will probably continue to write council on it because i'm not certain if it well i think i think i raised it at this meeting saying i'm not sure if it's part of our thing or not but i raised it i'm i'm surprised it even showed up on that list but I just wanted to speak to that. Um, I believe all the educational signage falls within our purview. Um, I don't think it would be a stretch for wayfinding signage. Some of those are right next to each other. Um, yeah, so did you want to see it moved elsewhere in the list? Did you want to see it moved up? We can. You can always put a full-blown motion. And well, see if it I can... want clarity on if it's part of our purview or not. And I'm talking like... Yeah all this whole area like because i found people especially around uh o n l back there totally and like scary like 60 year old couples at 15 minutes before dark and they have no idea where they are oh, oh yeah trevor sorry trevor so then... if i may I, uh, and we are it is coming to council to discuss the trail committee and and to have a further discussion on that what it might or may look like one of the reasons that i brought that forward actually is that very reason but i think there needs to be with clarity as to if a trail committee were to be established and and whether that's a committee or a working group we haven't decided that yet but it would be helpful to know whether or not you guys because we want to duplicate it, obviously right so and and whether or not because i mean i'm not sure if signage in other parts of town is necessary uh like i i'd have to look at it but i think it's some clarity on that would be good so before a working group or a committee is established and if that's going to be one of the terms but if you guys already have that that that's the question so but that is one of the reasons i brought forward is from that email and, and the concerns out there so and interestingly, if you if council decides to go working group, I think you guys can engage with a with a committee of council to have, to then task yes. this committee to do that. Yeah. Um. Just okay. Next, I have Beth, then Jan, then Tom. Um. I'm just um. Yeah, because those wayfinder signs are kind of derelict. They used to be really nice, but they they do need to be updated. They don't even exist. Okay. <laughs> they don't. No. Most most yeah. intersections don't have a sign. Every no. intersection should have a sign. Yeah. yeah. And I was just wondering, like, do we need to review, like, how do the public, like, what is the map for the public when they say they go to the green square and they want to go up to the boardwalk are they given a map like a town map or are they given a map for the fizz and we used to i'm still we the whiskey jacks way back when and we had a bird from maxwell lake and on the one side was a map of all the trails and the boardwalk and everything and that was all that was available for years mm -hmm. but i think the town did make another map so i kind of like an update is like what is being given to the public? And then how does that fit into the need for this wayfinder? Because you do need something. And there was a maps at one point with 
Well, yeah, we do update there. the trails map. Um, and there is, uh, I think Boardwalk is within like that, it folds out and then Boardwalk's its own thing. And the, the information center, the, the tourist information center, the chamber, they hand those out. Um, I can definitely ask Natalie to fire one off to me and bring it to the next, the next meeting. Yeah, that's no problem. Um, Jan and Tom. So I would, uh, I don't like the meeting is getting long and I would like to add this to the agenda for his wayfinding signs and not make a decision on it right now because I think there's stuff to discuss because I might argue that Trevor's group, which I think is going to be amazing, um, should maybe they should be the ones leading this because I, you might want all wayfinding signs to look the same. So, okay. and I honestly think that's what planning and development would definitely prefer, right? That we have some consistent signage. Uh, but I'll add that. So, the first thing we would have to do here then is to seek consensus to uh, postpone a decision on. No, all right. I just leave it for now. Just leave it. Yeah, no, we're gonna leave it's still a priority. Oh, black, yeah, it's black. still a priority for them. So I would yeah. just look to see consensus to leave it on there. Okay. And then yeah, and then uh, you know, um, yeah, see how things go. But I think it's still important mm -hmm. and I think it needs to be because if that group doesn't do it, then you guys would. Yeah. And if, yeah. if it comes back to us, I'll let people know that I'm gonna push for it to skyrocket in its priority to get the yeah. safety that we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so see consensus that it remains in its current place on the list, knowing that it's coming on the next agenda. Sure. And nice. So well, let, me, let me just make sure I write that down. So that is a fine. Okay, so um, I will take, I thought we would have a little bit more time, but this is an excellent conversation. So. Uh, and the next thing we need to do is, it's a seat consensus, right, Trevor? Uh, no, to make a motion. Make a motion. Does Trevor want to make a motion? <laughs> you know well, what it is. I'll recommend, because I mean, I'm yeah, not part of this. So yeah. my suggestion is that now that you've made these amendments, that someone move to move to, to uh, support or to, to continue the boardwalk section prioritization as amended. So to move that, to accept the continued boardwalk section presentation as a main. That would be my suggestion. Beth. I'll move so. <laughs> 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 Actually, Doug needs to know. So it's Beth moves that. So pardon me, is it continue boardwalk section prioritization or does it change the boardwalk section prioritization? Boardwalk section prioritization. Yeah, it's, it's just boardwalk. Okay. Section. Beth, so, so Beth moves that boardwalk, that the yeah. boardwalk prioritization, what's that called? Section, section. section. Boardwalk section prioritization. Oh, for, that the boardwalk section prioritization be accepted as amended. Yeah. That. Right? Nice. Yeah. Did you catch that, Doug? Yeah, got that. Nice. Uh, all those in favor? Are you going to vote that? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Uh, that carries unanimously. Okay. So we're going um, to move on to 4.4. Round table update. Who wants to start? No, Yeah. Round table updates. Before you do that, yeah. if you want to discuss just to let them know about the 4.3. Oh, Jesus, they right over that. 4.3. Um, I started talking. 4.3, I thought we'd have more time to essentially translate the information that we just prioritized into the plan, the, the capital, the five-year plan. Um, but what I'll do is I'll put that in and then bring it for us to react to, right? So that we can actually move some stuff around um, in the plan, which is attached to uh, that link that I sent you guys in the agenda. Just because we don't have time um, and I really want to get to the... 
Okay, round table. Well, yes, yeah. I'll go with the round table. Okay, you I've got table. nothing important to say other than it's really awesome to see the, so much water, and it's really awesome to see those the goose and the goslings. Oh, it doesn't talk about that. Like That's amazing. Um, we came the other day where we were coming to the Mac, that little bridge, and the parents were over on the Maxwell Lake on the beer pond side, and the goblins were over here, and they couldn't get up. And so we had to back all the way off until finally they found somewhere. And meanwhile, the parents are just going crazy. And the only other thing is, I, I where it, there was a, a bat out hunting in the daytime for like three hours or so, and it's got a good crowd of people watching. Big brown bat, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. That's it. All right, Kevin, round table. I don't know. I like seeing tourists on the boardwalk again. It's a boardwalk. It's people. And it's Japanese. Yeah, folks. Um, British. And people ask me questions. Is it like local? <laughs> That's cool. Anyway. I like seeing tourists. Yeah. Alice? I just like, okay. I don't really know how this works, but sure, it goes. Um, if we're this meeting went long. Should we plan another meeting in two weeks and then have like just if we keep running so tight on time, should be a bonus meeting just to catch ourselves up? And I feel like we're kind of in a critical time period now where we want to get to work. We should get ahead of the game. Um, so we're not over time, we're just trying to keep us on time. Um, and we can definitely make a motion or call an emergency meeting at any time, similar to how we did when there was a change of scope required for the fine line. Um, so I think, again, you'll have your, your answer on that as to whether that's needed after closed session. Okay, yeah. thank you. Mr. Haas, anything? No, I just do, do thank you for having me. I, but one is, uh, you know, I do watch all the videos and you guys do a great job. I love the discussions watching them. So yeah, that's what I say. Doug? I had two items, so I guess I'll talk really quickly because it is 7.18. Um, first one, uh, by the next meeting, we'll be halfway through the year. So I'm wondering if Chad can provide us with an update on maintenance. Uh, is the over or under budget? Uh, is the public request system of defects to be worked on? Is that working as intended? As an example, I put in a few a few months ago. So I'm just wondering how many you're getting. Is it what you're expecting? Do you need more? Do you need less? That sort of thing. Um, do I need a motion for that? Or is that something that could be maybe provided on an update for next uh, meeting in July? Um, I think we're due for that. So you're absolutely right. I've, I've added it. Um, and I think a month is plenty of time for that to get a chat. Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I'll just write down the minutes for, for consensus for that. Uh, second item, um, the sign for the parking lot. Um, I'm wondering, is there anything we can do about that parking lot sign? Because it's so kind of small and it's only on one side. What, what, what can be done about that parking lot sign? Uh, the one on, uh, Colleen? the one by the carriage lane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sure we could do something. It, yeah, it is quite small on that big board that was uh, provided to us some time ago, but yeah. Um, I'm sure we could look into doing something with it anyway. Yeah, just because it's so small and it, it's not, honestly, not even professional looking compared to all those nice big red and uh, yeah. wooden signs that are elsewhere for wayfinding. Yeah, good looking. Um, okay, I think that's it from Doug. I'll do a question. Are, are we allowed to ask questions during the round table? I don't know. Trevor? Me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, would, would that be something? Um, just, just an idea. Um, I know there's a hint in art club and they're kind of moving on for stuff to do. Would that be Would that be something we could reach out to the art club if you want to make a sign? I think that's super cool. Um, it would have to fall within the town. <laughs> Design standards. Yes. Right. And that's okay. where you're going to get slain. Um, okay. Not. <laughs> um, yes. But let me let me see what's possible. So I'll yeah. have a chat with them to see where the loopholes are. Um, that is a that because we also, as part of post, have incorporating um, art into our open and, and uh, spaces. So. We'll see. Uh, at, that was carriage. carriage. Okay. Uh, I don't get to do anything. Chad, do you have anything? I think Tom, anything? All good. Beth? Um, yeah, I was going to talk about the dogling too. It's really, really something to have the 
piece, like she nested right on the on the lodge, on the beaver lodge, and hatched all these little things. And while she was nesting on the lodge, the dad he would position himself on AA, like halfway between the ramp, the bridge, and the um, and the outdoor classroom. And he, like we saw him chase off another pair of geese while she was incubating. They're pretty protective, so that was cool. Um, like last year, we had a pipe bill of green that actually raised young right on Maxwell Lake. And this year, we got a goose. So it's the first time we've ever had goose. So it's just fun. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, that concludes our round table. Um, so I do have one action item for tonight, and that is to do with our community grant. So the community spring intake for community grant has closed. However, it is typical that, um, or as for the terms of reference for the community grant, committees of council put forward a representative to also sit on that committee to assign the monies. Um, so I have this beautiful binder filled with all of the applications this year. So we need either a volunteer or someone to be appointed to uh, attend from this group. Oh, Jan's gonna volunteer. You've got done before. Perfect. Are you available on? But if someone else wants to do it, if someone I, else I wants the opportunity, I don't understand. That's okay. Okay. So every year we award the community grant. Uh, groups from the community submit to get some monies for their different initiatives, and council assembles a committee to make recommendations to council about what in this binder should be funded, um, and. The members of that committee that decide this are pulled from the other committees of council, so library board, etc. Um, is there anybody else other than Young that would want to do this? Just curious, what date? Is so there is an application review, so the whole committee comes together on June thirteenth. The time will likely be um, after work. Uh, we don't have a nailed down time yet because we need someone and she'll connect with you guys to see what you're available for and then the voting for the recommendations to council occurs either the 15th or 16th um of june what do i call this for the meeting minutes uh in the meeting minutes this is under 5.1 community grant advisory committee appointment um so is there anybody else other than Yang that's really itching to do it? Okay. Seeing none, can we seek consensus? Can somebody make a motion? Um, that is a me. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kevin moves to appoint Yang to the Community Grant Advisory Committee. Second question. I'll follow the question. Oh, do that now? Okay, follow question. Oh, do, like I, I have a question. Oh, you have a question. All the questions. Okay. You want to speak to it? Yeah. My bad. It's my bad. Sorry, I just um, yeah. might suggest an alternate, just in case you get sick or something happens, you can't make it. Then sure. there might be an alternate. Uh, potentially, because I know we did that at our library board meeting last week, just to make sure. So, if you're if you're interested in the community, it's a great little. Oh yeah, you, you get to see what other groups are doing. And, yeah. Yeah. So if somebody can. I would make that suggestion. That's all. But if nobody can, then yeah, if you're not available, we already yeah. kind of anticipated to pull from your guys' spare. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Library. Yeah. Did you want to be the backup though? I could like it's I'm here next week, but not the week after. Uh, yeah. Thirteen is Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So and it's after uh, as long as it's after work. Then yes. Okay. So do I move to amend the motion to include that in the spare? Or you can just vote on that one and make yeah. motion. Let's do that. That's easier. Yeah. So we're going to. Call the, Call the question that Yon be appointed as the uh, appointed to the Community Grant Advisory Committee. All those in favor? I don't want to vote. <laughs> 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 I did. I did. I did. All right, uh, that carries. And then 
Alice's next motion. I move that Beth be appointed as spare to the community. You should be everything I say. <laughs> Advisory committee. Advisory committee. And now I call the question that that be appointed as the spare for the community grant advisory committee. All okay. those in favor? Nope. Not agreeing to the honor. Not agreeing to the honor. You know what? You don't want that for yourself. So that carries as well. All right. <laughs> All right, so that's going to take us into number six. So I need a motion for us to move into closed session. Tom, what's your motion? Move to move into closed session, please. I uh, call the question that we move into closed session at that looks like seven twenty-seven. Uh, all in favor? Okay. Everyone carried it unanimously. Okay. Seven. Turn this off. Can I please get a motion to adjourn? No, I'd like to ask a question. Oh, yeah, and you also have next meeting. We have to talk about next meeting. Oh, my bad. And my question is pertaining to that. Okay, yes, Jan, go ahead. You're moving on to a new position, so are you still going to be part of our little group here? Or? I talked to Councillor Sashka about that during our um, agenda prep. However, Laura is away on vacation. For continuity's sake, it only makes sense for me to remain at least for a period of one year, um, but Laura will have the final say on that. Uh, can we recommend to her that you keep you? I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> Straight up. But thank you for the vote of confidence. Oh, um, Hans departed and I was awarded Hans' position. So I was becoming Hans, but technically the um, Parks and Rec manager does not have a seat at this table. So I would just have to, um, I think I could still fit in under the admin spot. Um, but it's just something that we'd have to flag for updating the terms of reference down the road. Um, was that the question, Jan? Was there another yeah, question? Yeah, I just want to clarify if you were sticking with us or bailing it. Just a question on that, with as a parks and rec manager, wouldn't it be appropriate for you to be on? It is not, so um, because at one point we were supposed to pull all the information out of Hans' head and put it in chat. Oh, okay. um, he is the parks and arena supervisor, so that's why it truly belongs there. And um, this position is to work kind of at a higher level. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, can I have a motion to adjourn? No, because you have to uh, confirm the date. Oh, right. Uh, it's, it's really hard to chair and yep. talk. I could. I know. Um, July 13th at 5 30. However, pending. What comes out of that admin meeting, I'll touch base with you guys. So we might have it earlier. Yeah. Okay. And that wouldn't necessarily have to be at the same time. We could do a survey monkey to figure out when most people are available. Now, can I have a motion to adjourn? I'm going to give it to Tom. Tom. Motion to adjourn, please. All right. I'd like to call the question Tom's motion to adjourn at 7.51. Uh, all in the favor? Meeting of the nerves. No, no, I was like, 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 I was like